I'm Eric Ponce from Firestone Walker Brewing Company in Paso Robles, California. We're here with Craft Beer and Brewing's Tip of the Week. Designing the barrels that are gonna be spending time in wood, again, they all have a purpose. The beers that we design that are gonna spend time in wood are not standalone beers that you're gonna to wanna to drink unless they have time to mature in the barrel. You drink Parabola, it's highly astringent, highly bitter from the high percentage of roasted and dark malts that we're using in that grain bill. It's, again, designed to be aged in these barrels. So when I'm sourcing barrels, there's a lot of specifics that I'm looking for. How long that spirit was aged in that barrel, what the grain bill was of that spirit itself, and then we work directly with the distillers themselves and or the barrel broker on when those barrels are gonna get emptied and then when they're gonna arrive here on site. Obviously, you wanna get them as recently dumped as possible. You want these barrels to show up at your brewery open up that truck and all you smell is that spirit. You want those barrels to be really tight. You want the hoops to be tight. You want to open up that bung and you still want to see and cut spirit in there. You want to see that barrel glistening. You want to stick your nose in there and just be wowed and even pull back because it's uncut high proof spirit. So when we bring these barrels in, it's all about timing. When we're gonna get them in, we need to make sure that we're gonna have a beer that's ready to be put in those barrels as soon as they arrive here at the brewery. We do an extensive exterior wash on these barrels when we bring them in. Once we pop open that bung, we get that beer directly into that barrel. We don't do anything to the interior of that barrel. We want all that spirit to be extracted into that beer once that beer is aged in there. As soon as we pop open that bung, we get our wands in there, we do purge. We do know that wood is a porous substance and we are aware of the oxidation rates that are gonna be getting influence in that beer. However, we do wanna start the process off purging that barrel with CO2 and getting most of that O2 out of that barrel. So we start off with about a minute and a half to a two minute purge until we know that, that there's no oxygen left in that barrel and then we start filling that barrel. And you always wanna fill it to the tippity top. You wanna have beer coming out of the top of that bung because again, if there's more headspace in there, eventually that's gonna allow more oxygen than that you want to get incorporated into that barrel. So as soon as you fill that barrel up to the top and you see beer floating off the top of that bung, you hard bung that barrel, and then we drive that barrel into the room that you're out at today. So we fill the barrels and then they spend anywhere from one year up to two years, three years for our slowly colder maturation. We keep the, our barrel room at 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Different breweries do it different ways. Some breweries do what they do in Kentucky. There's no temperature control. You let the room get slightly hotter in the summertime, slightly colder in the winter. Again, wood is porous. So in the hotter temperatures, uh, that wood opens up and really allows that spirit or the liquid in that barrel to get saturated in the layers of that wood. And then in the winter time, it encloses and kind of pushes that liquid back into the base liquid in the barrel. Our process of keeping our room at 55 degrees is a slightly smoother extraction. We don't have the big temperature influxes, thus a slower maturation, slightly smoother on the palate. We have a little more control on the extraction of that spirit in the barrel, and that allows us to distinguish how much time it needs to be in the barrel. And then again, sensory and tasting. To learn more about brewing spirit barrel-aged beers, click the link below.